All right, Andrew here with Accelerators, the daily LDP on LinkedIn, always free. Here to talk about JDIs today, part of Lean Six Sigma. Yield and throughput are the critical connection here. Poor yield will crush your throughput. And so when we think about profit, sales throughput, profit to bottom line, productivity, um, anything that can be variable that will negatively impact your profit um, often comes from these two things, yield and throughput are critical levers in manufacturing. There are a lot of other things that can impact. Most of them are below these two. Poor yield will crush your throughput. What do JDIs help solve for? This is a Pareto chart, a fancy Pareto chart. And so Pareto charts are used to measure data sets, commonly failure modes, defects, setbacks, Things that are not supposed to happen is what a Pareto chart helps you capture, helps you capture the data over time so you can see what is truly negatively impacting yield and throughput. And so this Pareto example is in the medical field. Like I said before, this can be used in any form of manufacturing, any form of production, all the way down to ice cream cones and waste. And so when you look at this one, the Pareto just shows um, the top 20%, vital few, if you look left to right, dose missed, wrong time, wrong drug, overdose, blah, 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 vital few that have the most impact over the course of a day, a week, or a year. And so that's what we want to attack, not the trivial many. And so the trivial many, those things occur. We need to solve for the high risk, high impact issues on the left side of the Pareto. The top 20% that cause 80% of the issues. We solve those, a new Pareto occurs or emerges, and it might be the same as the items on the right. It may not be, but we solve for highest risk, highest impact, first things first. How do we do it? How do we solve for first things first? We start very simple. Things that we can implement, train in days, days, sometimes within hours, 24, 48 hours. And so if we look at Pareto, it's going to tell us these are the top three to five things that we need to go solve for commonly in a manufacturing environment with training, visuals, visual aids, visual tools that we go train to. And so in this example, in a composites organization, the products are very expensive, thousands of dollars. When you have recurring defects and you don't solve for the issue at the single most relevant root cause, because there could be 10 contributing factors, you need to get to the single most relevant and train that one religiously. Train it with extreme discipline in a couple of pictures and then interactive training with the employees that can be done post defect and then eventually becomes training guides as new hires come in. You have training books. They can be electronic. They can be on the shop floor. They can be on a TV screen. They need to be trained. This can also be implemented into your QMS so that you pass audits with flying colors. And so in this example, core not covered, may look minute, but this core, uh, a lot of this core, this specific core that goes into structural components on an aircraft, about $5,000 a pop. So let's just say you have one issue related to this. I mean, it, it adds up quickly in composites at high rate. $5,000, one, one defect per week times 52 weeks, 260 grand at the end of the year. And 5,000, yeah, that may not be the true cost or the material cost, but there's also labor cost that goes into cutting this core, packaging the core, repackaging. And so your rolled up cost, 5,000 is actually decent. It's middle of the road when it comes to composite core. Another example, as simple as not throwing gloves away, finding out. Why are we getting contaminants in our composites? Get to the single most relevant root cause. And in this instance, it was actually people didn't, didn't understand. Like there's constant trash that you have to throw away when you're building and manufacturing composites, constant. Constantly have to peel things back because there's resin that impregnates the fabric. So you're constantly throwing things away. You can't come in contact with foreign object debris, whether it be the the lid of the trash can, 
other desk than tables. And so this coach back saved hard cost, hard money, lost money, $52,000 a year. Just a simple JDI. Now there's training and discipline that comes with it. It's not as simple as you just do the sheet of paper, have everybody sign it and we're good to go. No, there's daily discipline and auditing, constant training, constant repetitions. Just like any exercise you do, any mental exercise or physical, you have to do it daily or you use. You, you use or you lose the muscle memory. Another great one in material handling. We look at the picture, bad versus good. We're keeping this super simple. The training, the where the rubber meets the road is the daily reps in training and new hires. It takes 60 to seven repetitions for something to stick, a new habit to stick, 60 to seven repetitions. Doesn't mean 60 to 70 days if you're going through the reps two or three times a day. If you're going through the check do check, peer auditing constantly throughout the day with the top three to five key items. Sometimes there's 10, it depends on the environment that the reps are how. We turn these losses into wins. And so this example, sealing the bag. So there's often, often in composites, you have large rolls that you then have to cut into, we call them baby rolls, smaller rolls, because the material has to come in and out of freezers. Once it comes out of the freezer, it starts to cure. And so you have to keep it in smaller rolls. Well, if you don't seal the roll properly, it'll start to cure. And then you scrap the material. There's no turning back. It's hard. It can't be used. Um, other issues can occur in out, out time tracking of the material, but we won't geek out too hard on that. This example, $2,000 is pretty conservative. And this can cause major issues beyond that. But to be conservative, $2,000 a week is fair. Times 52 weeks, over 100 grand. And this one defect alone. All right, let's roll up the math. So 260 grand saved in the first issue, 52,000 in the second, 104,000. So these would be losses north and near of half a million dollars in a year. And a hundred million dollar composites manufacturing company, that's, that's actually not even the total that you potentially get up to, that you commonly get up to. Um, it's, it's far beyond that. And so just simple fixes with daily discipline implemented into what the employees do in standard work based on super simple and effective lean fundamentals gets you back half a million or eight full-time employees. We're, we're concerned about headcount and productivity and scrap. And these are variable factors in our factories that don't allow us to go hire another few people as we grow or cause significant issues with cost and cash to go buy capital equipment. $500,000 goes a long way in any manufacturing site, um, whether it be profit to the business or reinvesting into the workforce, hiring, creating more jobs. And so it goes far beyond cost savings. It goes back into building up your local communities, creating great jobs for great employees acquiring new capital equipment to do the job more efficiently. Fulfillment, back to see a problem, fix a problem. JDI is just do it. And so this is the front end of lean. This is the, what we go look to do. There's some back end uh, higher complexity lean fundamentals and projects that are important. You know, I would say more on the design side, once you're in manufacturing, we've commonly proven it to a high degree of yield and throughput. Once we get it into production, that's not always the case, but in most cases, we have proven that. And then over time, we've lost some of the core discipline. And that's what we go back to in Lean. Lean Six Sigma at a fundamental level. We're going back to process discipline. How do we get high yield that then translates often that one lever, higher yield, extremely high yield often translates to higher throughput. They're both connected. All right, thanks again for hanging out with me today for the daily LDP. Get certified this year, Yellow Belt provides undeniable value. JDI is just one of the tools that can provide instant value and yield and throughput with employees, with companies. It can help elevate your performance, elevate your talent, elevate your skills, help you with career progression, help you get that next raise or 
Hope you get that next promotion. And so go to the website, Accelerators VIP LLC. Check out the free PDF with all that you need. It's got everything that you need to get your lean certification this year. If you want the PowerPoint, it's on the website as well. If you want guided training like this and modules, I've got YouTube videos that take you from week one to week 12 to get your certification so that you can raise the bar and get 1% better every single day. Thank you so much. Have a great day.